Hi, welcome to another quick video. Previously, we talked about QuickSet and then we talked about ways to connect to your router. In this video, we'll talk about upgrading your software. And uh, with Mikrotik software, it's not as easy as uh, it can be because we have several different uh, software releases. And uh, this is what we're going to talk about. So why should you upgrade your router? Well, the reasons are obvious. First of all, sometimes we fix bugs. If you report those bugs to us, to support or to our forum or um, in any other way, we do fix those bugs and uh, we release the bug fixes in uh, software updates. And uh, also, there could be some performance improvements or maybe security issues that are uh, addressed. So it's very important to, from time to time, to connect your device and make sure you have the latest software. So uh, the best way to do it is if you connect your router and click on the quick set button here, you have check for updates button here at the bottom. If you click, uh, the check for updates window will open. And in the check for updates window, you will have the installed version, the latest version that uh, the device has found on our web page. And there is a change log here. And change log lists all of the fixes between versions, between the this one and the previous one. Uh, also, you have the channel. And the channel is uh, something that we need to talk about. But that will come in a second. First, I wanted to show you if you don't want to use QuickSet, uh, you can find the same window in System Packages. In System Packages, you can see all the packages that you have installed. And here you have the same Check for Updates button. Um, another way to update is go to the Microtech web page. In, in, in the web page, if you go to Hardware, and if you find the device that you're using, Hex PoE Lite, let's say, if you go to Downloads, you will see the RouterOS current release, and you can download the uh, latest file. And then you can do, uh, you can just drag the file to the Winbox window, and it will upload it. And then you need to issue a system reboot command. It will also update it just the same uh, same way as check for updates. If you're sure what kind of device uh, you're running, what system architecture it's using, you can go to the software page here and download the, the required packages manually. Just click on the main package or extra packages. Extra packages usually contain some other tools. Uh, it's more for advanced users who want to install uh, features separately one by one. Uh, for most people, I, sh I suggest you stick to the main package or best of all, simply use the check for update window. So what we have here in the channel, so we have long-term, stable, testing, and development. Uh, they're ordered roughly in order of uh, stability and features. So if you don't want to touch your device often, if you want to keep it on the most stable uh, possible version, and you don't care about the latest features, you can leave it at long-term. Long-term is... Uh, uh, is a version that is uh, very stable, uh, has been out for a long time, most, uh, nearly all critical issues have been fixed, and we sometimes release only security updates, uh, and uh, these versions are not updated uh, very often. Most people should be using stable. This is a version that is uh, considered uh, usable for any situation, uh, good for nearly everyone. Stable as it's called, is stable. But we do release uh, updates with new features and fix some bugs uh, every now and then. Testing is uh, something that should only be used in, uh, for experimentation, for your lab environment where you want to try out some new feature, um, maybe experiment with something that's recently um, fixed, for example, some kind of bug that you're waiting for and you want to try it as soon as possible, you can try out testing. But it's not guaranteed that this bug uh, fix is final. It might change. We might release a new one tomorrow. Uh, testing is for testing. And development. This is a channel that we used before we released version 7. Uh, it was to test, well, it's basically what others call nightly build. N nobody is guaranteeing that this version will even boot. We, we just build it and release it so that, um, well, 
if you want, you can see what's uh, uh, what we're working on. But mm, it's it should not it should never be used in real in real setups, real networks. So for most people, uh, stick to stable. Another question: If you go to our web page and you see in so software, we actually have version seven and version six. So what's the difference? <laughs> for um, we have a separate video on what's new in version 7. We had Router OS version 6 was out for many years, and Router OS version 7, we, we were uh, slowly, slowly <laughs> uh, developing uh, the, the, the new features, and finally now it's out. You can finally use it. It's completely fine to use it for most people. Mm, version 6 is the old one, and version 7 is the new one. That's, that's basically it. There are some features that are not currently um, completely uh, finalized in version 7. We have an article about that in our, uh, in our documentation. So if you go to our documentation, this page here, help.marketing.com slash docs, if you go to the left-hand side menu, and if you go to getting started, you have upgrading to version 7. So this article uh, lists uh, some of the biggest changes that we had and some uh, issues that you might run into if you're running version 6 and you want to move on to version 7. So for example, you can see BGP. It's okay to use, but some attention is required. So let's scroll down. A few features have changed. A few, um, a few things have, uh, have moved. Uh, and the same for other stuff. So user manager is completely rebuilt. You have to know that if you're running uh, version 6 and want to move to version 7. But if you are, uh, if your router is brand new, you can, there's absolutely no reason to use version 6 anymore. You can simply use version 7. It's working great. I use it on all of my devices. And just stick to 7, forget about 6. Uh, so that's basically it. Uh, upgrade using the automatic check for updates button, either from the packages menu or from the quick set menu. And for most people, stick to stable. If you want to experiment with new features, try testing. And if you have a spare router that's on your desk, if you have a lab, if you want to poke around with the new features, only then look at the development. But if you stick to stable, you'll be fine. That's it. Thank you for watching.